What continues to be interesting to me about this comment is the idea that if we think of life as some kind of dilemma or problem or has an issue for us that we may not have to solve it the way we thought we had to solve it, which is sort of stru usually struggling and redecorating the prison walls and things like that. <laughs> which is sort of a lot of painting and wears out your arms. And, and, uh, uh, but sometimes there's a kind of, uh, something that's like a dance move that happens in life. And it's really just shifting our, <coughs> our thought forms or shifting our hearts so that we're not, they're not so crowded, really, tight and small. <coughs> and, uh, and so this column of where the teacher says, says, brings in the rice pot and says, Bodhisattvas come and eat your rice and claps his hands and laughs and dances is, is one of those movements, I think, where the whole universe is just present right now and it always is, and so you can just, it's a matter of just noticing that we're already here. So I was wondering what else, <coughs> any other thoughts came up? Just a footnote on eating your rice. In Chinese, chi fan. Literally, fan means rice, but it also means the meal. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So it's not so narrow. Yeah, yeah. It's like mm -hmm. he's not just offering you mm -hmm. a bowl of rice without anything else. But he might be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like bread in English. Daily mm -hmm. bread. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Break that together. <laughs> chocolate, come and eat your chocolate. There's <laughs> <coughs> an earnestness about it too, is it doesn't matter, as, he, as he's bringing the rice, it doesn't matter what the thoughts are that are in you at the time, it's all what they're going to, you know, it's all part of the food. I don't know if this makes any sense, but um, in the Americas also, the, the Mayan myth is that the people are created out of the corn. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. Yeah, so it's sort of like, you know, you're the rice, too. It's, it, it's oh. you, too. You know. yeah. I mean, one of the things I think that happens here is that it really doesn't matter what you're thinking. He just claps his hands and dances and says, welcome, come and eat. It doesn't matter who you are. But it also, you don't have to, if you're working with a coin, you don't have to do anything with the thoughts you're having that might or might not be uncomfortable. You just have the coin, you know, and it's clapping its hands and dancing and singing maybe. And, um, and you can just drop it in, into... Uh, one of the interesting things, some of us were talking about lunchtime, is that you can be in the middle of some busy meeting, or it can be really chaotic, and people can be stoned, or there can be anything going on, you know, drinking or whatever. And you can just drop a cone in, you know, and actually it will shift people and get them present, you know. And so you can drop a cone in yourself, essentially, and you'll start to get present. And it's, it's a strange and interesting thing that it does that. And the only, th I don't really have an intelligent theory about that. I have a dopey theory about that, <laughs> which, which is, is that it, it's sort of like you think. Uh, it's that we have that natural capacity for freedom and clarity anyway. We have the, the moments of clarity are always there for us. And we just need to somehow stumble and fall into them, trip into them. And, and uh, <coughs> a couple of us, another couple of us were talking about, well, can you get steps to this? <coughs> and the answer is, well, you don't really need to, because steps are an inside the prison kind of thinking. And But just to tell people, well, you have an underlying clarity and uh, joy and delight. 
people remember, oh yes, there are moments when I, there are moments when I did, and even if I don't have them all the time, I could use them as a reference rather than who oh, I messed up, which is just another, you know, just a made-up thing anyway. You know. So I messed up requires a lot of apparatus to keep it going. You've got to get evidence. You've got to quote the newspapers. <laughs> you've got to do a lot of research on Fox News. And, <laughs> Fox News. <laughs> and you get, you find your data. That, you know, it's work. You know, it doesn't sort of feel good. You know. And uh, and so, um, and it's not to say there isn't pain and, and suffering, uh, but it is to say that there's a natural capacity that we all have that we can just fall into. So my one way to tell the story myself about koans is that they just trip us up and so we, we fall in there and we find them. 